hello friends uh, this is lesson 13 and here again we are talking about some basics of statistics we will be talking about data standardization and data normalization and then uh, data distribution and empirical rule and we'll give some examples for them now let's see what is data normalization so data normalization is actually required here uh, an attribute that uh, an attribute is normalized by scaling its values so that they fall within a small specified range such as 0 and 1. If we have a large scale numbers so analyzing these numbers it is it is difficult because um, for modeling that type of data it is so much difficult it has maximum values different extreme values maybe very large values very small values different ranges so instead of that converting that large scale values into small scale values so that is called normalization and uh, here for example all that scale or range is converted the numbers are converted into between 0 and 1 0. Point something 0. Point 0.1 0. Point 0.2 0. Point 0.3 that all the values are in that form too it is starting from 0 up to okay 1 or for example from minus 1 to plus 1 into that range we are converting the number so that is called data transformation or we can say okay data normalization or we can say data standardization we are applying now here in data normalization friends we have first mean max normalization so mean max normalization here it will scale the data between 0 and 1 the mathematical formula for that is here x norm is equal to observation minus mean value divided by maximum of that observations minus minimum of observations so if we apply this formula on data so the whole data will be arranged between 0 and 1 so this is called normalization and this type is called mean max normalization it will convert the whole range the large range into a small range between 0 and 1 practically we will see this and then we have something called z-score normalization it is also called standardization here also the z-score is a way of telling us how far away a single data value is from the mean so first it is finding the mean value and then it is checking how much each value or observation is spread out from the mean the values the distance it finds from the mean to that value but still it will be converting a large scale numbers into a small scale numbers maybe between zero minus one and plus one minus two and plus two minus three and plus three or minus four plus four in that range so this is the formula z is equal to x minus mean of that observation divided by standard deviation and then we have normal dis distribution and empirical rule so in normal distribution friends it is also called symmetry distribution or symmetry means that one half of the distribution is a mirror image of the second half the data is like this distributed left half of that is a mirror image of the right half so there it is also called symmetry means mean is equal to median median is equal to mode so the data is normally distributed so here if the data is normally distributed so we can call here we have a rule empirical rule that states that we can expect a certain amount of data that live between set of standard deviations 
So here, between 1, we have minus 1 plus 1. In that range, we will have, if it is standard, normally standard uh, distributed, the data. So, 68% will fall between minus 1 and plus 1. 98, sorry, 95% will fall between minus 1 and uh, minus 2 and plus 2. And the 99.7% of data will fall between minus 3 and plus 3 standard deviation. So, let us have some example for them and you will better understand. So, I have, I have imported some imported libraries like pandas and numpy matplotlib for plotting. So, we talked about data normalization and we say that an attribute is normalized by scaling its values so that they fall within a small range such as 0 and 1. And we have, okay, this one, mean max normalization, z-score normalization or standardization. So, the formula for uh, normalization, mean max normalization, this is the formula x minus mean of x divided by max of x minus mean of x. Let us have the same example what we discussed in previous lecture. So, here we have um, friends. These are, these are our friends, 24 friends and uh, these are their Facebook friends, the number of Facebook friends that first person has, second person has this much number of friends, the third person has this much number of friends. If I print them here, so it is in the form of list. So, these are the values and now let us see normalize the values, how it looks like. So, first I want to find the x minimum, x maximum because these two values I need according to formula here, x minimum, x maximum, I need them. So, I found them here, okay, then let us put it here. I created a list and here x minus minimum of uh, x divided by x maximum, x minimum and you calculate all those values, it assign in this x and then append x values into this variable called x norm and here I am printing the values. See this range here we have so many values and they are spread out from each other the distance may be so much uh, large values and the values are not uh, quite uh, near to each other so instead of that they are arranged in this form here 0 and up to 1 so the largest number is indicated 1 this is the largest value indicated 1 so it is going like that from 1 to okay 0 point something the whole range is fallen in this uh, range which is 0 and 1 this is called mean max normalization so again here we are uh, going to plot them in the form of bar charts so it is showing me like this so from 0 to 1 so this is the mean value here 0 0.4 here we have 0 0.5 if you draw the line here so here we have the mean value and these are the values below the mean and some values we have be above the mean and here we have standard standardization Zeit score normalization or standardization here we have standard deviation also we need and the mean value also we need two values so for that first I go and find the mean value and then the standard deviation and then divide x minus mean value divided by standard deviation and store it inside and I am printing the z value here. But here minus values are also included. So from minus value to some plus value the data will be distributed. So here the maximum value is 2 and then we have minus 1 like that it goes up to minus 0 something 0 point something and plus 0 point something it is dividing all the values like that. Let me show you in the form of charts here then you will better understand. See here this is 0 this is the standard deviation this is called the, the mean of our values this is the average and these are average plus and these are average minus here below 
and they are shown here in this form from 0 to 25 what is the maximum values here we have uh, this is average 0 0 by red line and greater values like 1 1 it is shown by red line uh, sorry green line and here minus 1 in minus 1 and that is shown by plus so it is here showing us like this because the values are arranged from minus 1 to plus 1 we are considering but above that and below that they are called the out layers so three out layers below we have and three out layers above that value or the mean value we have and now the question is here what is what about data points on two different dimensions if you have two data sets for example or two columns of a table if you consider how we can like uh, convert it into normal form or standard for for example for example here we have friends and then we have their happiness rate this is the happiness rate 24 values here 24 values here but the values are quite different from each other they are not uh, near to each other you can, let me display it here in this form of uh, a converted into a data frame friends and here is the happiness I convert it into dictionary and then I have uh, displayed here so here see the difference you cannot uh, compare them because the values are too much different from each other this is 109 and this one 0 0.8 how can you see and how can you find the relation between the values it is difficult so what we have to do we can simply standardize the data set using uh, pre-built standardization package or function from scikit-learn from scikit-learn I'm I'm using this pre-processing data and from that we have a function called scale and through the scale I provide the two values or columns here you can provide any number of columns here and you see how it will be standardized It's taking some time. Yeah. Now we can easily find some relation between the two values because now there is uh, not that much spread out. The values are not that much spread out. The values are both converted to 0 and 1 between to the range of 0 and 1. Range of 0 and 1. So now we can easily compare the values and we can take the decision from this. Now see, I want to plot the values here. Then you can also see whether the relation between the two values are positive or negative. From this graph, you can easily understand if the values are both X is also increasing, Y is also increasing. So the relationship between the two values is positive. Means if the number of friends are increasing for some person, if the number of friends are increasing so the rate of happiness also increasing so it is uh, means uh, they have some relationship between these two data set if the number of friends are more happiness rate is also more so it means there is some relationship between the two data set values here you can peer and check out whether the relationship is there or not the question another question can we find a relationship between the number of friends on Facebook in uh, overall happiness uh, the hypothesis here given positive negative and no relationship a positive relationship is like this the graph is like this the values are spread out like this so for x value the y value is also increasing x value increase y value increase x value increase and y value is increasing but if x value is increasing the y value is decreasing so it is called negative correlation or negative association or relationship is there but it may be like there is no relationship between the relationship between is zero like x is increasing y is not increasing y is on zero or x is on zero so that is also a type of relationship so here it is explained friends the correlation or coefficients are uh, a quantitative measure that describes the strength of association or relationship between the variables 
correlation coefficient this is is used to measure and describe that correlation coefficient conditions here so first it will lie between minus 1 and 1 as we found here minus 1 and 1 the values all the values are fall in between minus 1 and plus 1 so this is the first condition the second condition says the correlation coefficient the greater the absolute value closer to minus 1 or plus 1 is showing the strongest relationship here how much the values are close to plus 1 or minus 1 so that shows the strongest relationship between them and a weakest relationship is if there is no relationship or we can see zero relationship as I shown here in this graph no relationship so here x is increasing but y is zero or x is zero while y is increasing so then we say the correlation coefficient is zero and now and that can be used by calling the function the data set and then the function here and through the function we can see here and this is called the diagonal the diagonal is here friends one here also one and it is also symmetric the same value what we have here the same value we have here is called symmetry so this is the result the diagonal of matrix is filled with positive value so the relationship between the two means happiness and number of friends if the number of friends are increasing so happiness is also increasing so there is a positive relationship between these two data sets according to this uh, correlation coefficient here so the matrix is symmetrical across the diagonal so it is symmetrical because the same value we found here the same value we have here and this is true for any correlation matrix made in pandas it is possible in pandas and it is uh, showing in that form then we talked about empirical rules friends and here in empirical rules if the data is normally we say distributed so some amount of data will fall between minus 1 and plus 1 minus 2 and plus 2 and minus 3 and plus 3 standard deviation if it is symmetric and also normally distributed then those values are possible so it states that we can expect a certain amount of data live between a set of standard deviation so this is called the mean this is called the mean standard deviation now let's see how the data is spread out from the mean to positive to, to negative so here this is called the standard deviation 1 minus 1 minus 2 plus 2 minus 3 and plus 3 and finding the percentage of people within 1 2 and 3 and that uh, we will calculate the standard deviation and we'll see the how much they are spread out from the mean now I want to calculate the values between plus 1 and minus 1 then I'm going to print that and let's see how it looks like how much data fall so 75 percent fall between minus 1 and plus 1 so that is according to this it is right it means it is empirical the data is normally distributed if this much value falls between minus 1 and plus 1 what do you think about minus 2 and plus 2 yeah here we are considering plus 2 and minus 2 we are taking the data and then uh, divided by its standard deviation here it's called the standard deviation uh, sorry yeah number of observations here standard deviation we found and number of observation so let me see here the standard deviation between uh, plus 2 and minus 2 how much value fall 92 percent so it indicates yeah 92 it is yeah standard deviation between minus 2 and plus 2 this much data so it is empirical it means the data is normally distributed minus 3 and plus 3 how much okay 100 percent so it means that 
standard deviation or the spread of the data is maximum up to minus 3 and plus 3. They are not out spread out from that because 100% the data will fall within this range and that is empirical and the data is normally distributed. I hope you understood this much about the okay the basics of uh, statistics we talked about data normalization and then we talked about data standardization normally distribution of data and empirical rules we talked about and here I hope you understood all these things.